In this tutorial, we are going to go through subtraction of three digit numbers. We are going to use the vertical format to do this. So let's start with a nice easy example. What is 458 minus 134. 458 minus 134. The first step is to write these numbers down in the vertical format. Make sure you write this properly and correctly. If you do that, the next part, calculating the answer, is much, much simpler. So let's do this. 450 8 minus 134. Let's put a nice big equal sign at the bottom. 458 minus 134. We can label the columns. We don't have to, but we can. Units, tens, hundreds. Now, the first thing we do is we subtract the numbers column by column. And we start with a column on the right hand side. So what is 8 minus 4? 8 minus 4. That's right, it is 4. We now move on to the tens column. What is 5 minus 3? That's right, it is 2. And lastly, the hundreds column. What is 4 minus 1? That's a nice easy one. 3. And we have our answer. 458 minus 134 is 324. There is. So once we write these numbers down in the vertical format, it's a lot easier to work out. Now we're going to move on to the next question, which is going to involve carrying. What is 373 minus 148? 373 minus 148. The first step, let's write the numbers down in the vertical format. 373 minus 148 let's put a nice big equal sign so the first thing we do is we subtract the column on the right hand side what is 3 minus 8 3 minus 8 well we can't do that because 3 the number 3 is smaller than 8 so what do we do we take a 10 from the column next to it. This is how it's done. We cross the 7 out. 7 minus 1 is 6, and we put the 1 here. Do you see what we did? We took a 10 from here. The 7 went to 6 because we've taken a 10, and we put the 1, the 10 over here. The units column now becomes 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8. Do you know what the answer is? That's right, it is 5. We now do the tens column. We're not going to minus from 7 because the 7 has become a 6. It is now 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4. 2. And lastly, the hundreds column. What is 3 minus 1? It's a nice easy one. 2. And we have our answer. 225. Let's just write that down here. Now, do you see what we did here? If the first number is smaller than the one below it, and we are minusing, what do we do? We take a 10 from the number next to it. The 7 became a 6, and we put 1 here. 
So the right hand side, the units column became 13 minus 8. The tens column became 6 minus 4. The hundreds remained as they were, 3 minus 1. Now let's work through an example which is a little bit more difficult. What is 835 minus 479? 835 minus 479. It looks a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? Well, the first step, let's write the numbers down in the vertical format. 835 minus 479. Right. The first step, we subtract the column on the right hand side. 5 minus 9. 5 minus 9. Well, 5 is smaller than 9, so we can't do this. What do we have to do? We have to take a 10 from the tens column. So the 3 we cross out and it becomes a 2. The 10 we've taken from here we'll write it in the units column. This now becomes 15 minus 9. 15 minus 9. That's right, it is 6. Now we do the tens column. The column in the middle. Now here we don't do the 3. The 3 has become a 2. So what is 2 minus 7? 2 minus 7. Well, we can't do this one either because the number 2 is smaller than the number 7. So what do we do? We take a 100 from here. The 8 becomes a 7 and we put the 1 over here. The 8 becomes a 7 and the 1 is added on here. So this column has now become 12 minus 7. Now 12 is larger than 7, so we can do this. 12 minus 7 is... That's right, it is 5. Lastly, the hundreds column. We don't take away from 8, because the 8 has become a 7. 7 minus 4 is... 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. And we have our answer. So a tricky, some, a tricky question like 835 minus 479, the answer is 356. And we did that using the vertical format. It looks a little bit difficult, a little bit messy for the first time, but once you practice these questions again and again, it will become a lot more simpler. Let's try one final example. What is 757 minus 388? 757 minus 388. First step, let's write these down in the vertical format. 757 minus 388. Now, the first step, we subtract the column on the right-hand side. Well, we know 7 is smaller than 8, so we have to take 1 from here. Cross out 5, we put in 4. And the 1 we have taken, we put over here. This has now become 17 minus 8. 17 minus 8. That is 9. We now subtract the tens column, the column in the middle. Well, we know that 4 is smaller than 8, so therefore we cannot do this. We have to take 1 from here. The 7, we cross it out and it becomes a 6. The 1 we've taken from here gets added to the 4. So therefore, it now becomes 14 minus 8. 14 minus 8. 
that is 6. Lastly, we do the hundreds column. What is 6 minus 3? The answer is 3. And we have our answer. 757 minus 388 is 369. So that is subtraction of three digit numbers using the vertical format. Always make sure you write the numbers down in nice neat columns. If you do that, subtracting the numbers is a lot easier. That's the first point. The second point is make sure you identify if the top number is smaller than the number below it. As in that example, there were two examples there and two more there. If it is, you can take one from the number next to it. The next stage is practice and practice again until you have mastered this.